Hi everyone, this is Glenda Ganzon and welcome to my Human Anatomy and Physiology class. And for today's lesson, I'm going to discuss the introduction to the chemical level of organization. Kick. In order for you to fully understand the mechanism of human physiology, it is important to have an understanding of the chemical composition of the body. This will come in handy when reconsidering or considering the various interaction between cells and structures. In this topic, we need to recall what we've learned in chemistry back in high school. The smallest, most fundamental material components of the human body are basic chemical elements. In fact, chemicals called nucleotide bases are the foundation of the genetic code with the instructions on how to build and maintain the human body from conception through old age. There are about 3 billion of these basic pairs in human DNA. Human chemistry includes organic molecules, which is carbon-based, and biochemicals, which are those produced by the body. Human chemistry also includes elements. In fact, Life cannot exist without many of the elements that are part of the earth. All of the elements that contribute to the chemical reactions, to the transformation of energy, and to the electrical activity and muscle contraction elements that include phosphorus, carbon, sodium, and calcium, to name a few, originated in the stars. These elements in turn can form both the inorganic and organic chemical compounds which are important to life, including, for example, water, glucose, and proteins. This topic begins by examining elements and how the structures of atoms, the basic unit of matter, determine the characteristics of elements by the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in the atoms. And this topic also then builds the framework of life from there. If you look around you, everything is made up of chemicals. Life is chemistry organized into astonishing complexity and intricacy. To make sense of the organization, we can look at life's chemistry as hierarchy levels of organization. From simple elemental ions to simple organic molecules, complexity rises with increasingly larger macromolecules. Let's say, for example, a person is between 1 to 2 meters tall, but there are many length scales and biological levels of detail which are important for understanding anatomy and physiology. For perspective on size difference, consider an atom. Atoms are basic units of a matter, or atoms contain positive center, which is what we call as nucleus, surrounded by a cloud of electrons that allow interatomic interactions. We can't really grasp how small atoms are, but think big instead of small. A length of 10 to the 10th power meter is more than the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The smallest length scale that we will cover is the size of individual atoms, but the movement of subatomic particles called electrons can change atomic charge. Ions are atoms that carry either a positive or a negative charge from altered numbers of electrons and many atoms and molecules exist in the body as ions. Ionic chemistry is important in human medicine and health. Ions play an essential role in physiological processes, particularly as they move across cell membranes. Appropriate intracellular and extracellular concentration of sodium, potassium, and calcium ions are required for nerve impulses and heartbeats, which enable cell-to-cell -cell communication and initiate cellular processes. For example, release of insulin by beta cells of the pancreas is mediated by ions. 
Transport of ions across membranes may occur by passive diffusion through the ion channels or through the pumps. Pumps often move ions against the concentration gradient. Ionic chemistry is important in human medicine because anesthetic drugs such as novocaine block, sodium channels, neurotoxins from the or from some snakes and puffer fish work by blocking ion movements that normally occur in nerve transmission. Malfunction in the ionic channel or pump molecules can result in serious physiological ailments including cystic fibrosis or mutation in the gene that codes for sale membrane chloride channel and an epilepsy even subatomic particles which are too small to see with the best microscopes in the world play an extremely important role in maintaining proper physiology so this is the simple introduction about the chemical level of organization. And if you have any question, please write it in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to this topic. Until my next video, bye!